hi guys hope you all doing well and welcome back to our channel and in this video i'm going to talk about ws fed and saml and how you can capture all the request and response with the help of fiddler the identity provider that i'm going to use will be adfs 2019 if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video i have discussed about the theoretical part and most of the parameters which are related to both of these protocols Whereas the agenda of this particular video will be knowing how to trace each and every request that is getting interchanged between your application and your identity provider. How to trace the authentication frame where exactly you'll find the token that's been sent by your identity provider to your application. Why the endpoint that I'm going to use or where the request will land is known as passive endpoint. And what are the basic differences in terms of the structure of the token that your identity provider will be giving to your application the setup for this video is fairly simple i'm using adfs 2019 and for the application i'm going to use adfs claims x-ray tool for those of you who don't know how to set up this particular application i'll be sharing a link in the description please follow that video and you will be able to set up claims x-ray tool in less than 10 minutes there is no application required because we have ADFS Claims Extra tool that will act as an application and we will use Fiddler tool to trace all the traffic. Now I'm going to switch to my machine where I have already installed Fiddler. But if you want to install, just go to this particular link, download the Fiddler setup and install it. It's fairly simple. Once the Fiddler is installed, just launch the Fiddler console. Now, by default, HTTPS traffic decryption is not enabled in Fiddler. For that, what you have to do is you have to click on Tools, then click on Options, and then click on HTTPS. Make sure these two options are selected, and then click on OK. Now, let's say you have enabled these two options, but still the HTTPS traffic is not getting decrypted. In that case, just click on Actions and click on Trust Root Certificates. You will get three prompt and on each prompt, you have to click on Yes. And this will add a certificate in the machine root on behalf of which all the HTTPS traffic will start getting decrypted. So now let's come back to our browser where I have already opened Claims X-Ray tool. And the first option that is here is to type your federation service name now if i select the default policy option that means i am not specifying which authentication method should be displayed by identity provider so i'm not going to get any w auth parameter i'll click on test authentication as you can see i'm getting w sign in 1.0 wt realm but there is no w auth parameter the same set of information will be available on your fiddler as well now, how to check it on Fiddler? Select the frame where you see the endpoint of your identity provider, then click on Inspector, and then click on Web Forms. And you'll get all the parameters listed. Now, let's come back to our Claims Extra tool, and this time, let's select any of the options that are available here. Let's select Forms, and then click on Test Authentication. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a WAuth parameter at the end of the link, and the same set of information can be found from Fiddler as well. For those of you who don't know what these attributes or what these parameters are all about, please watch our previous video. And once you have completed that video, it will be very easy for you to relate whatever I'm saying in this particular video. Now let's come back to our claims extra tool and see what difference you will get in terms of the redirect in the browser if you switch the protocol now i'm going to select saml p and this option would remain same and now i'm going to click on test authentication and as you can see the entire link is changed and all these parameters are same which i have showcased in our previous video the same set of information can also be tracked from your fiddler and as you can see the difference is highly reflecting and the first option which says login to rp would be the same as wt realm and this value which we see here should match with one of the relying party identifier in our case we already know it's claims x-ray so what i'll do is i'll click on properties and as you can see 
identifier tab is holding the same value. So now we know how to differentiate between the two protocols just by seeing the request in the address bar and knowing which protocol will be used by application. Now, in case of SAML, at times you'll see here SAML request, but WS Fed would remain same with all these values. Now, since we have discussed a lot more about the request that has to be initiated from your application and that should land on your ADFS or on your identity provider page. Let's sign in with both the protocols and see what is the difference we get in terms of token. So this tool, ADFS Claim Secure tool, would itself decrypt the entire token for you. But since our focus is Fiddler, let's go to the frame where we'll find the token. So how to find the token is very simple. Right after all your identity provider frames, the first redirect that will be sent to your application, you can find W result parameter, which will list your token right click over here and then click on send to text wizard and as you can see in case of ws fed the token is already decrypted couple of things which you can verify and which you should verify in terms of troubleshooting whether you are getting the required results or not the first one is timestamp itself then match what is the audience value which is available whether you're getting proper attributes value or not what kind of authentication has been done by the user and in the lastly or in the last section of your token what you will find is the certificate of your identity provider that is the token signing certificate which your application will be decrypting or which your application will be reading for token validation now let's come back to our console of claims extra tool and this time we'll check uh, saml let's say and now what we are going to do is we are going to click on test authentication and this time as you can see that the values are changed and I'm going to sign in again with my username and password and this time the token that I will get it will not be available by default in Fiddler whereas we have to decrypt it that's the difference between SAML and WS Fed now this frame is moreover related to SAML request and as you can see it is showing a SAML response but the value cannot be decrypted here itself for that you have to click on send to text wizard and make sure this option is selected in your setup by default you may not see this option because if I select any other option over here it will again get encoded so what I'll do is I'll go and select the same option which is from deflated SAML and as you can see now I'm getting a SAML token. Let's paste this value in our notepad. And as you can see, this is a SAML token and this is a WS Fed token. When it comes to claim descriptions, when it comes to the value of claims, you might not find any difference. Now the logic behind that is the relying party trust on your ADFS is same. The same claim rules will get applied. This is slightly towards ADFS. The same process can happen with any of the other identity provider that you are using. But the basic difference between the structure of the token will be in SAML token, the certificate is listed before the attributes, whereas in WS Fed, it is listed at the end. Same things which you can verify in the SAML token itself. That will be the timestamp, audience value, and one more thing which is very important is the issuer and that is this part now this value will remain same in both the token and the value that you see here is basically the identifier of your ADFS the same process goes for other identity provider as well it's just how you do the matching that will make a lot more sense so as you can see that this is the value which exists here in your ADFS is matching with the same value which is available in the token. Now one more query left and that is why this endpoint is named as passive endpoint. So ADFS LS endpoint is usually named as passive endpoint because it is your browser which is receiving all the requests from both the entities be it your application or your identity provider and that it is actually forwarding 
to the respective endpoint it can be your identity provider or it can be your application that's the reason why this endpoint is named as passive endpoint so this was all about knowing how the fiddler trace works in a nutshell i've already shown you what are the different parameters that can be checked and how you should do a match between both type of tokens so now let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about how you can do the tracing between all the requests that are getting exchanged between your application and identifier, how you should focus on a specific frame from where you can find the token, why the endpoint is named as passive endpoint, and what are the different parameters used in WS Fed and SAML. If this video has helped you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.